You are very welcome to the virtual open day for the Christian Brothers Grammar School in Oma. In a normal year, we will be hosting our open day in mid-January, providing an opportunity for you as parents and pupils to come into the school, walk around the site, visit the classrooms and hear from each department and experience some of the activities of the Year 8 curriculum. This year, we have to do things differently via video on our digital platform. The Christian Brothers came to Oma in 1861, 160 years ago this year. And as an Edmund Rice School, we are committed to working with you, our parents, to ensure that your expectations are met through excellent examination results and the development of your son's talents, skills and attributes that will prepare him for life beyond school. We are a Catholic school, a school dedicated to providing and developing a Catholic education. We provide an education that follows the principles of the Edmund Rice Charter, which cultivates a living faith throughout the school, fosters Christian spirituality, and educates our pupils in gospel-based values. Our students enjoy a range of experiences, but we do provide an academic curriculum which demands commitment to study and homework. We are the largest school in the town with almost 970 pupils. The school is able to offer the widest curriculum of all the schools in West Tyrone. We offer 15 subjects in Key Stage 3, a broad curriculum of 24 subjects at GCSE and also at post-16 level with options of traditional GCSE, A-levels and vocational subjects. We offer subjects at GCSE and post-16 that no other school in West Tyrone offers, for example computing, engineering and performing arts. We enjoy high levels of participation and success in extracurricular activities from sports to arts, through to the community engagement and working with local Christian Brother charities. We support our students with a strong pastoral assistance and wellbeing network, so your son will never lack help should he require it. By coming to this school, you're embarking on a journey that for most of our students lasts seven years and leads on to further education at degree level. Years 8 to 10 are the early years of that journey, where the foundations are laid to study for 10 GCSEs. And from the beginning of year 8, there's an expectation that pupils devote time to their studies every evening and complete homework tasks to a high standard, and thus provide a secure platform to undertake GCSE study at the end of year 10. We expect students to engage in the life of the school community including extracurricular activities and charity work. And speaking to you as parents and carers, I am very clear that not being in school has been learning very difficult for you and your family, as well as for your son's primary school teachers. Despite those challenges, I have no doubt that your son is doing his best to maintain good study practice, habits that will help him to make an easier transition to his post-primary school in September. And to the primary seven pupils, you may be anxious about moving on to your new school, but talk to your year eight pupils from your primary school from previous years and you will find that the move to the CBS is an enjoyable and smooth experience. Even though for last September, schools were different places with social distancing measures in place. For you as year eight pupils, Within the first few days, you will know your way around the school, have made new friends, and will be enjoying life as a Christian Brothers pupil. I wish you all the very best in the weeks and months ahead, and I hope we're all soon back in school when it's safe to do so. If you have any questions or queries about the school, please do not hesitate to contact us, either by phone or email, and we'll be happy to respond. Parents, guardians, year six and year seven boys, and all your families, we warmly welcome you into our wonderful school to give you a glimpse of what awaits you in year eight and beyond. As a year eight, you will have a wonderful array of opportunities, both academic and extracurricular. 
We have a large number of lunchtime and after school activities, including art club, Gaelic, soccer, hurling, rugby, junior choir, traditional music group, drama and our homework support club to name but a few. We are a school rooted in faith and we regularly gather as a Year 8 family to celebrate that faith and to reward success. We regularly reward the academic successes of our pupils as well as their many extracurricular successes in art, music, drama and sport. We know that the journey into Year 8 can be exciting but sometimes difficult. We understand that and we make the journey together. We expect high standards of you as a Year 8 but we are here to help and encourage you every step of the way. We want you to achieve your very best and we provide the diverse curriculum and wonderful opportunities and experiences for you to do that. We expect you to work hard, but we all have lots of fun also. My name is Fimmer Darcy and I'm in Year 8. One of the benefits of coming from a small primary school to the CBS is that you can easily make new friends. One way of describing my first experience of starting in Year 8 was like starting in Primary 1. Even though I had two brothers at the school, I was still very nervous and worried if I'd make new friends, but I didn't have to worry as everyone was very friendly and the teachers were very welcoming. The size of the school was the first thing that struck me. The vast corridors that all looked the same and the number of boys in my year group was larger than the whole of my primary school. When we were given our timetables, I was excited and looking forward to the range of new subjects that I was going to study, particularly Spanish and technology. My favourite subject is PE, as I love learning the skills of new sports. As there were nine periods in the day, I was apprehensive about the amount of work each night, but if you're well organised and plan your time effectively, homework is easily managed. As I live in Tarraway, I have to get the bus to and from school, as many of you will. Due to COVID-19, my experience in year eight has been different from previous years. I have had to grasp the challenges of online learning, working independently from home and wearing a face mask. My name is Adam Dolan, I am 11. My form class is 8F and my form teacher is Mrs Devlin. I went to St Mary's Killeclahar Primary School. My first memory of CBS is when I walked in at the entrance with a few of my friends and the teachers brought us to the sports hall where all the other first years were. I was very nervous because I had never walked around the whole school. My favourite subjects are PE, Art and Spanish. My favourite things about the school are that they have very good sports teams and the teachers are very nice too. The best thing about first year is the Super League, which is a football competition between your year and soccer and Gaelic. My name is Matthew Doherty from Uma and I am 12. I'm in 8D and my form teacher is Mr McMenamin. When I was coming to CBS, I worried about making new friends, but 10 minutes into the first day and I knew everyone. My favourite subject is history because we learn about the events in the past. I also enjoy maths with my teacher, Mrs McNamee. CBS has great staff and great peers. They have amazing PE and sports events. CBS also has a great canteen with amazing food. Hello, my name is Anthony White and I'm a Vice Principal here at the Christian Brothers Grammar School with responsibility for pastoral care. At the Christian Brothers Grammar School, we know that the most important priority for you as parents is your child's safety and happiness. I can assure you that the welfare and well-being of your child will always be our paramount concern and central to everything that we do. Pupils in this school are looked after and cared for by all staff. But in our school we have dedicated pastoral teams in each year group whose purpose is to ensure that pupils are integrating well, achieving to the best of their ability and that any problems are spotted early and swiftly resolved. Our form teachers meet with their form class every day and support them through all the challenges they face. They are guided and led by an experienced head of year who in turn is supported by a head of school, who is also a senior manager. It is crucial that every pupil in school has someone who they can talk to, someone who they can turn to when the going gets tough or they encounter a bump in the road. This is why each of our form teachers has two periods each week on their timetable to meet with their pupils from their form class on a one-to-one -one basis to solve any problems that may arise 
and to foster the confidence and self-belief that's essential to success in school and in life. We also have a school counsellor who comes into the school one day each week to provide support to pupils who may be facing a personal trauma or going through a difficult time. In this school, we provide a supportive environment in which children can thrive. We have a proud record of going the extra mile and beyond to meet the individual needs of our pupils, whether they be social, emotional or academic. Ten years ago, we opened our wellbeing centre and employed a learning mentor who works closely with pupils experiencing challenges and obstacles to their learning. At present, this role is shared by two experienced and qualified teachers, Louise Maxwell and Anne McCluskey. At the heart of our wellbeing centre is our mentoring room, where pupils come for extra support before, during and after the school day, and where they can socialise and enjoy their break and lunch if they want to escape the noise and hurly-burly of the schoolyards. Our Special Educational Needs Coordinator, Connor McCluskey, is also a vital member of our wellbeing centre, leading a team of 14 classroom assistants who provide daily individualised support to more than 30 children with a statement of educational needs. We also employ a school nurse who provides any medical support your son may require. Our nurse is Joanne Wadaker and she is available to pupils throughout the school day. We know that moving from your primary school to this large grammar school can be an exciting but also a daunting challenge. But you need not worry. You will be supported every step of the way. Hello, my name is Sean Devine and I am the current head prefect here at OMA CBS. Over the last seven years, I've made good friends and fond memories. Whether it be the various school trips, like going to the Giants Causeway, skiing in Italy or seeing the Christmas pantomime, to having fun in my classes like science, technology and design or home economics, I have immensely relished my education here at the school. I am one of those people that like to get really involved in what I do. I myself am quite fond of drama, the arts and literature, so naturally I have participated in events like Poetry Aloud. Uh, I've acted in our school show, A Streetcar Named Desire, and I've represented the school in swimming and athletic competitions. I've also been a part of the CBS and Struel Student Councils, which give pupils a chance to express their opinions on the life of the school. We have an extensive range of extracurricular events, like Pope John Paul, volunteering, drama, traditional Irish music, fesh, work experience, public speaking and many more. When I reflect on the years I have spent here, I am perhaps most appreciative of the community here at the school. No matter your interests, if you like football, art, reading books or computers, everyone plays their part here in the Christian Brothers. I'll be sad to leave the CBS this year, but I am forever grateful for the role this school has played in my life and the role that I have played in it. I know in September, when you walk through those front doors, you will have fun, exciting and meaningful years ahead of you. I wish you all the best for your future in OMA CBS.